All right, hello everyone. Welcome. We're gonna get this to go right into it. Um, we're gonna be talking about another update and all of my thoughts on it. I have a list of things. We're just gonna go bit by bit. Um, starting off, I'll get the big answer out of the way before we go more in depth with each part of the new Nether. Is it better than old Nether? I, as of now, um, I think so. There's a lot more, you know, there in the Nether. You don't just go there once to get blaze rods and then never come back. Um, there's a lot more to do, there's more there, you can literally live in the nether if you really wanted to, um, and there's a lot more overall, so I'd say it's, yeah, it's better than old nether. Do I miss old nether? Sort of. Doesn't mean I hate the, everything new in the nether though. But moving on to go more in depth, I just wanted to answer the overall question. Um, I have the structures, biomes, and mobs all split up, but obviously there's the one little debate, pigmen, zombie pigmen or zombie piglins that's pretty much the same mob except slightly retextured um, when going from pigmen to piglins I don't really have an issue with it I don't see the purpose of changing them uh, or having to change the name um, besides the fact that there's obviously the piglin mob itself as well but I mean it doesn't bother me really it did at first because I was like why change this but I get it I guess I don't there's not really a point to it but I understand um, and so it, it doesn't that just there's no like big difference there it's pretty much the same mob just different name and slightly retextured um now we're going to actually go into all the new mobs talk about them see you know we kind of i guess rate them in a way um all the new mobs there's obviously the piglin slash zombie piglin the strider the hoglin and of course the zoblin these are the five main new mobs piglins of course you don't know zombie piglin are just p pigmen reskinned as I said piglins um, are sort of like I guess the closest thing to a villager in the nether essentially if you're wearing gold they won't be hostile as long as you don't go through their chest in which case they won't be hostile and if you're not wearing gold they'll be hostile they can have a gold sword or a bow um, they drop their gold swords quite a bit so if you like gold swords yeah, there's that there's also obviously new um, gold or bogota later on um, and, uh, the piglin, um, are obviously pretty frequent, they usually spawn in groups, there's, uh, they obviously spawn at the Bastion Remnants is what I've been, heard it been called, um, which is a new structure, which we'll get to later, um, and I, I think it's a good, you know, extra mob to have another keep you on your toes because they are you know they can be ranged enemies which is something that originally there's only a few skeletons and I guess blazing gas to worry about now you have piglins as well um the strider is what you can ride or you can team um or tame in a way and ride across lava they can go across lava um they're neutral I haven't tried attacking one, so I don't know if they become aggressive when you hit them, but they're at least neutral, if not passive. Um, and yeah, they're, um, it's a nice addition. Be able to, you know, not the tower across lava if you have a uh, fishing rod, and I believe, if it's, I don't know if they call it, refer to it as a mushroom or a fungus in the game off the top of my head while I'm recording this. I've just finished streaming the game for a few hours on my on the realm. Um, at the time of recording, so that's all the experience I've had. But you can ride them essentially across the llama. I know I caught a pigman while riding one, which was cool. Um, so that's a nice little addition. Hogland and Zoblins. Hoglins provide a way to get food in the nether, um, which is a nice thing. It's obviously more mob variety. Something you gotta watch out for if they're in a, like little packs and hordes. I ran into like a pack of five at one point. Um, and Zoblins um, are pretty much the only, from what I'm hearing, the only way to really encounter one, at least that I've seen, is for a Hoglin to go into the overworld, they turn into a Zoblin, which will go after literally any mob, from what I'm hearing, which is insane. Um, same for Piglins, they'll turn into zombie Piglins if they go to the overworld, from what I'm hearing. I didn't try that. I didn't see any go through. Um, I actually had a, that's, okay, I had one Piglin. I think come through the portal, but he didn't have a chance to change because he immediately attacked me, so I had to, you know, slay him. Um, but that's it for the new mobs. New biomes, there's the Soul Sand Valley. We're going to go one by one here for all four of them, which is pretty much, it's a nice little bleak area. It's obviously all Soul Sand and um, 
so you know you got the good old soul fire uh, nothing like it's a nice little eerie area you also have soul soil as well as a thing as well you can use soul sand to make soul torches soul campfire soul lanterns anything like that which is a nice little thing they look cool the blue flame, blue flame is a big thing that looks dope uh, they're apparently one light level less or they give off one light level less than regular torches which okay I guess that's a good sacrifice for a cool looking torch or campfire etc um, but it's a nice little area to pass through next is the is it bas I don't I don't know if the correct pronunciation is basalt or basalt uh, I'm gonna say basalt because it's what I first called it and I'm just gonna stick to it for this video if you think it's basalt or something I understand I don't think either is incorrect um, the bas or basalt um, deltas um, which is kinda just like an area of blackstone and basalt kinda like trying to figure out how to describe this it's sort of just like a wasteland of basalt and blackstone with p small little pillars with a ton of lava and magma blocks and magma cubes um, I should have footage in the background so I'll give you a better idea than what I'm describing it as um, but it's a nice little area I mean I haven't it's like not something major but it's cool to just be there have more variety in the nether um, so I I have no problems with it. Um, next are the two forests, Crimson Forest, which is sort of the red forest. Um, the that's where I ran into more hoglins. I don't know if they can. I assume they can spawn in both forests, but that's where I ran into a ton of them. I ran into just piglin in the um, warped forest, which we'll get to. I really like the Crimson Forest. It has a feel like it should be in the Nether. Um, it makes sense to be there. I like the kind of it just felt like it could have always been there. Um, I like the mystique to it. I like the particle effects that are in most of the biomes. They change up per biome, and I really think it's a nice touch. This was a really good update. I'm kind of it was. I would. I'm not sure if I'm ready to say it was worth a wait or not because I haven't got much experience of netherite. Most of what I'm talking about with Netherite will be from other people's experience and very little experience from my own, just messing around with it on a separate world and creative. Um, so keep that in mind, but we'll get to that later. Um, as for the Warp Forest, it's like the complete opposite of Crimson, which I think is a nice touch, especially in my world, which is the Minecraft world I run, which is public, by the way. You can join it. Um, where I am, which is about 25,000 blocks away from spawn in the overworld. Um, there's a Crimson and Warp Forest right next to each other, so they kind of like, um, mix in the middle, sort of. I also had a Crimson Forest where trees, or they're not trees, technically they're mushroom type, um, things, um, that grew into another fortress, which was also cool. But the Warp Forest, um, is blue, the wood is blue, which is a fun little thing. I forgot to mention Crimson Wood's like dark, uh, obviously crimson color, or dark red which is a nice little thing for builds. It's gonna this, all the new blocks, blackstone especially. It's gonna be nice to see some awesome builds with them. Um, they uh, definitely all have potential. I think warped might be the war like the most difficult to implement in a building um, or build. I really want to see some people try it. I might try it out a bit myself. I'm not much of a builder usually, but I want to give it a shot. Um, but the warped forest, a nice um, little touch and um, kind of the opposite of crimson. It's cool. Especially if you got them back to back, it, it's a nice change. Just blue and a nether, the nether is just different. Uh, moving on to you know generated structures, these are the bastion remnants which piglin can spawn. It's kind of like a stronghold, a stronghold of sorts, um, or I guess the remnants of a stronghold. Hence the name, the bastion remnants. Um, there's obviously some chests there with loot. There's a bunch of piglins. Don't loot the chest if you don't want them to attack you and wear gold. Um, you can put a hopper under the chest, and they won't question that when you take stuff out of hopper, from what I'm hearing from my good buddy Harpo, you know, another member of the channel. Um, so, that's a nice little thing. Um, I went through it, it went all the way down the lava for me, I'm sure it went down, it, I think it stopped there. I had a couple little um, troubles on the bottom layer, but I got a lot of good loot, there's a lot of gold and such, um, a lot, some iron, so, like, it's possible if you really wanted to just survive on the nether into the nether coming soon, um, it's possible. Um, next up, though, 
we have the beast but uh, excuse me basalt pillars which are just kind of pillars of basalt that like go all the way up to the um from the bottom of layer or like lava layer uh upward for um maybe not all the way up but they, they're just giant pillars of basalt nothing like insane but it's just nice to have like if there's a giant just group of them it just looks pretty cool um huge fungi which is just the tree well the um where you get the wood in the crimson award forest um there's obviously one for each the ruin portals which can show up i believe in the nether and i know for a fact the overworld because my boy nomad found one while we were streaming um which is a nice little thing to have both in both the nether and overworld uh, another structure you can find a rare one uh, as far as i'm aware but a nice one and then there's nether fossils which um usually appear in soul sand valleys so that's all the new mobs by them structures there's obviously nether gold ore which is a nice touch it drops gold nuggets i had a looting diamond pick so it dropped a lot more and there's obviously another right which from what i'm experiencing is better than diamond obviously um but it's kind of just built on from diamond and it doesn't make diamonds any less important and that's my experience with the nether update so far i'm definitely going to stream more play more get more used to it and have more experience with netherite and maybe i'll come back and make a full scale sort of in-depth review but I just want to give my honest thoughts here on day one. This is going to be super edited. If you enjoyed this, be sure to check out my gaming video for Siege, though, earlier today. Um, it dropped at noon, Eastern Standard Time. It's dropping a couple hours later. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.